We are staying 20 nights in the Kuala Lumpur city center completely free. Free. For free. For free. We spent our first 12 free nights at the Holiday Inn, but now we're moving to a much more luxurious hotel, which might be the nicest hotel we have ever stayed in. There's a window <laughs> to the bathtub. And suffice to say, we're a little bit excited. Yes, yes, this feels yes, so... Yes sleek and fancy. Stick around because we're going to show you guys exactly how we did this and how you can save a ton of money on your next vacation. We're Jill and Hannah. Last year, we quit our jobs, sold everything we owned, and moved out of our apartment in Nashville, Tennessee. Now we're setting off on a journey to travel the world for as long as we possibly can. <laughs> the struggle. <laughs> it always works. Ready? Thank you. Can I just say again how much we love this city? We're sitting in traffic right now and there is no honking. It's just quiet. Hello. Hello. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. For the next eight nights, we are staying at the Crown Plaza in Kuala Lumpur City Center. She fancy. <laughs> Hi there, how, how are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> yeah. The guy at the front desk was so sweet. He gave us free breakfast, even though that was not included. I bet it's good. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's really good here too. Yeah. Oh man, my stay is already made and we haven't even gone up the elevator yet. <laughs> Level 30. That was so fast. Everything is shiny and golden bronze. It feels so fancy. It does, wow. This carpet is like, it's, it's like squish, yeah. Luxurious. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you guys soon how we're staying here for free, but another perk that comes with how we're staying here for free is free upgrades. So we're still in like the same kind of room that I booked, I think, but we got upgraded to a super high floor with a really nice view. Let's go see. But first, a view tour. Wow! Whoa! That is a really nice view. We're so high up. I feel like we can see half the city from here. Mm -hmm. I get to live here for the next eight days. This is the fan- Wait, 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 here's the best part. For free. For free. <laughs> for free. We're literally not paying one single penny to stay here for eight days. <laughs> okay. I think this is my first ever room tour because we don't normally have much to show. <laughs> we have some water and a tea kettle and a nice little refrigerator down here, which is very nice. We can actually buy our own food and not spend $100,000. Oh look, there's tea. Wow. I think this is the first time we've ever had a room with a couch in it. A sectional curved couch too. Yeah, it's nice. Over here we have a desk, which is also super nice because we're usually working wherever we are. And normally we are sitting in our bed, hunched over our laptops like this, and it's terrible for our backs. So this is really nice. Okay, <laughs> next up we have the king size bed. I kind of want to see if the bed is comfy, but I don't want to get in it in my clothes. But what if you just jump on it on top of the covers? Jump on it? <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. Well, how about with your body lying down? <laughs> jump on it with my body lying down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like the classic bed test. Yes. Moving along. Here is all of my crap that I threw on the floor like a maniac when we entered the room. 
Big mirror. Ooh. Pretty soft bath robes. Oh my gosh. I love when we have robes. I bet there's some storage space hidden in here. Ooh, yeah. Whole closet with a safe. Wait, slippers? Oh, I haven't used slippers in so long. Mm -mm. Time to open the bathroom slidey door. <laughs> Hannah keeps telling me to look at the camera so that you can hear me, but I'm just too interested in everything <laughs> that is going on here. So, as always, there's a bidet and some toilet paper. Oh good. I like having at least one of those. There have been times <laughs> when we have had neither and we've just not gone to the bath. Not in a hotel. In, in public In restrooms. public restrooms. You just don't go to the bathroom. Lots of little amenities. Wait, stop! They have washcloths! Oh my god. Okay, it's not that we need it. I just like them. I'm excited about this. This looks like some fancy hand wash and lotion. Fancy sink. Fancy mirror light. Okay, here we go. This is half the reason I booked this hotel. Hell yeah. How freaking yeah! Oh my god. It has a bathtub. She can't wait. She's oh, getting in now. It feels so good. That's such a big tub too. It's big enough. Yeah, it'll do. And like, you can see the city from here. Mm-hmm. That is so cool. The bathtub window also has a retractable shade and when it's open, you have a perfect view of the TV from the tub. And you can hear it because of the bathroom's built-in sound system, which is pretty cool. The shower also looks super nice. We've got our shampoo, conditioner, body wash. And the coolest thing about this shower is you can literally stand here and shower and look at that. I can see the whole view from right here. It's really cool. Whoa. Did you know there's a waterfall shower in here? Wait, stop, that has to be part of it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, there's water coming from everywhere. Whoa. Yeah. Look at it. Wow. I cannot wait to use the shower and the tub. Even that toilet looks fancy. I can't wait to use that toilet. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, we keep finding more interesting things, so this tour is gonna keep going for a second longer. Earlier, whenever I said there was a bidet, I meant like a little handheld bidet. A bum one of, gun. A bum gun, <laughs> one of these things. But I think we have just discovered that there is also a regular bidet, which we have never used before. Like <laughs> so we gotta try this out. Not like the way you would use it. We're not gonna do that on camera. <laughs> but we're gonna see if we can figure out how to get it to work. It's gonna, it's gonna spray us. Yeah, there's a sprayer there. It's a rear one. All right, she's down there hard at work. Pull that hair back. <laughs> I feel like I'm, like, I'm gonna throw up in the towel. <laughs> I feel like I'm like crouching in front of a toilet so if I'm sick and have to throw up. <laughs> I'm gonna go classic bidet so it'll spray that way and not like here. Okay. Okay, ready? Where is it gonna come out? I don't know. It's good. I'm doing the one that goes that way. Okay, go ahead. The bidet that goes forward. It's supposed to. <gasps> <gasps> don't let people like us into the crown plaza. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun experiment. Now there's toilet water on the floor. Now we will move on to the rest of the hotel. That's I think she's ready to go. go. To the roof, to the roof. Well, that roll. Okay. Oh, all right, we're on floor 13 to check out what we think is the dining hall. We think this should be where we get our free breakfast every morning. Oh yeah. This restaurant looks super nice. There's like windows all around the whole restaurant. And from this little spot, you can even see the Twin Towers. The dining room is technically closed right now because they're prepping for dinner, but it looks hella fancy back there. I'm so excited to eat here for breakfast tomorrow. Me too. Okay, the really fun stuff is up on the top floor. <laughs> oh, good save. <laughs> to check out the fitness center. I'm not gonna lie, we probably won't use this either, but um, it's here. This is really nice. You can run and have a view of the city. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 
This is it, the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm not gonna say what it is. It has not been raining all day. And the second we get here, <laughs> it starts raining. <laughs> it's fine, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Holy crap! Oh, that's so Bro, we've got a rooftop infinity pool with a view of the city. I don't even care that it's raining, we're gonna get in. This is honestly kind of a surreal moment for me because <laughs> like I've heard of infinity pools, but it always just seemed like something that was so far out of reach. Yeah, like the fanciest places that like we wouldn't ever spend money on or could afford anyway. It's just crazy that we're here. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty. I wish it was hotter outside. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Oh, I'm getting cold. Come on, Hannah. In with it. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> we can see a bunch of big buildings, a bunch of little buildings, and a mosque from here. Oh, well, yeah. There's some mountains back there, too. Yeah, that's cool. I can't wait till it's like sunny out. And we yeah. Can enjoy this. That would be really <laughs> nice. Walking back into our room is so fancy. It's like I forgot how fancy it was. And then the lights just automatically turn on when you walk in the door. It's so nice. Okay, so how the heck are we getting all these hotel stays? for free. The answer is actually super duper simple. I signed up for this little credit card. And that is literally it. This is the IHG Premier credit card. If you don't know IHG, it's just a group of hotels that owns several hotel brands like the Crown Plaza and the Holiday Inn. And there's also lots of different kind of cards like this for different hotel brands. So how these cards work is you sign up for the credit card and there's usually like a big sign up bonus worth a whole bunch of points and then you can cash in those points for free hotel stays. Typically, in order to earn these points, all you have to do is spend a certain amount of money within a certain time frame on that credit card. That does not mean just go out and spend a bunch of money that you would not normally spend just to get the points. What we do is just put all of our combined expenses for those few months onto that credit card and it's enough to get us the bonus. For this particular card, we had to spend $3,000 within the first three months of account opening to get 175,000 bonus points which is really, really good. And that's why I picked IHG over the other hotels, just because they were running that deal at the time. And if you don't typically spend that amount of money in that time frame, you can try to line up getting a card with like a big purchase you have to make, like a new laptop or a new phone or something like that. And that can really, really help get you to the spending requirement. You also earn more points every time you spend money on the card. So before we went to book these hotels, I ended up with a total of 196 7,000 points on this card. I cashed in 188,000 points to stay at the Holiday Inn and the Crown Plaza for a total of 20 nights. So that is 20 hotel nights completely free and I didn't even use up all the points I had on the card. I still probably could get a couple more free nights if I wanted to. I will say whenever we arrived here at the Crown Plaza, there was like an 80 ringgit tourist tax that we had to pay. And that's just kind of unavoidable. Some places charge a tourist tax, big deal. <laughs> For us personally, like we would never choose to pay to stay somewhere this nice whenever there's a lot of cheaper options available and we don't really have the money to just go splurge on a big fancy hotel like this. So having something like this opened up to us because of miles and points is just really, really cool. Now I will say too, Malaysia is a pretty cheap country to visit. So if you're going somewhere else that's a little bit more expensive, those points might not go quite as far. I know we got 20 nights for free and that's like crazy, but even if you're getting 10 nights for free in a more expensive country, like. That's 10 free nights. That's still really, really cool. I will drop a link to this card in the description if you guys want to get it. But like I said, there's also a bunch of other hotel options. So you might want to like go through the cards and see what's the best pick at the time. And I think I have to put in this little disclaimer for YouTube. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please don't go get a bunch of credit cards and then spend all your money on them and get into a ton of debt and then say that I told you to. 
This is just based off of our personal experience. We think it's pretty dope, so I wanted to share it with you guys as well. I will say a quick disclaimer too. Different countries are gonna have different options for credit cards. That's just how it works. The United States probably has the most and the best, honestly. But if you're in somewhere like Canada, the UK, you're probably gonna have some options still. Other countries, I honestly have no idea. I haven't looked that far into it because I haven't really needed to. But you might as well look and see what your options are. I think it's totally worth it. So yeah, let me know if you guys find this stuff interesting or helpful at all. If there's anything else you want to know about or you want me to go more in depth on it. Or if you just find this stuff super boring and lame, you can tell me that too. Alrighty, I'm gonna go find Hana so we can wrap up this video. Wrap it up, up, up the video. Aren't you glad I found Hana so we could wrap up the video? <laughs> That's how you do it. All right, homies, thank you so much for watching this one. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. As always, it helps us out a ton. And yes. stay with me. My, my, my turn. My, my, my turn. My, my, my turn. My, 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 my turn. My, 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 my turn. Live on the edge. This is a little freaky. Let me show you. Hopefully without getting wet. That's what she said. <laughs> One more story. One more floor. Story. <laughs> One more floor or story up. One more floor up. Two friends. Wow. Two is pretty cool. Two which is the hard because they're not gay. All right, homie. Ah, I'm falling over. <laughs> We were leaving the pool and one of the hotel employees like started chatting with us because of our camera and asking if we had like a vlog and everything. And literally as he's following us on Instagram, he asked if we were friends or sisters, which is the question everyone asks us in every country we go to. <laughs> in a lot of countries, we just say we're a couple, we're married, whatever. Even though it might be a little weird, um, we feel like comfortable enough in the country to say that. In Malaysia, we're not so sure because as far as I know, this is the country we've been to so far that has like the worst laws regarding LGBTQ plus people. So we haven't been like public about our relationship. <laughs> but anyways, all that to say, he's literally on, in the process of following us on Instagram and asks if we're sisters or friends. And I just say friends because I just feel too awkward to say anything else. And like the text lit at the top of our Instagram literally says wife and wife heart. <laughs> if he was reading at all, or if he goes back and watches our YouTube videos, he's gonna know that we're more than friends and we're staying here for eight whole days. So just slide right to his face. But uh, I don't know, that's fun. Fun little tidbit. That's just what you gotta do sometimes. <laughs> tidbit.